Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tapshi Tech and Reviews. So today, let's quickly unbox and uh, install this alkaline filter onto our uh, existing filter. So let's see what is the difference it makes, uh, and also let's see what is the current TDS of the water we are seeing. So what we'll do is let so let's directly open this and see how the filter looks like and what are the things that comes with this. So yeah, let's get in the video. Please enjoy. So yeah, what we'll do first is let's quickly check the TDS for the tap water. So this is the TDS meter, generic meter, it's an old meter, all the stickering has come out. So don't go by that, uh, it's a generic meter, I paid around 100 rupees. So let's quickly check what is the TDS reading for this. It's already on, this is for turning on, turning off and the second button will be for holding uh, or storing the value. So once you click that you will get the reading, it shows as 562 is the TDS reading, so ppm 562 ppm. So let's do the same thing and check what is the TDS reading for filter water also. I have this filter installed here, let me quickly show that. So this is the filter which we have installed. So I've recently added a RO membrane, I've replaced the RO membrane, it was all old, so I had replaced it. After replacing, let's see what is the TDS reading. So I have filled the water. So let's train as zero, let's dip this meter. So it has uh, drastically reduced from 500 to 11, tap water was showing 562 and here it is 11 is the TDS reading. They say that if the TDS reading is less than 20 it's all acidic water uh, and the pH, pH level uh, for this water would be somewhere, somewhere around 5-6, it would be some uh, completely acidic water. So it's not good for consumption and there will be less minerals. So that's the reason I have ordered this uh, alkaline filter. So this is the filter which I have ordered. So it says next generation helps in absorption B12. And the other informations are like energizer, taste enhancer, microcluster, antibacterial. And also it adds some minerals is what they say. It will remineralize the water. So let's quickly unbox this and see what are the things that will come out of the box. So let's quickly open this and see what are the things that will come out of the box. So once you open this, so once you open this, you will get this and there is a, a filter. So this is how the filter will look like. There is nothing else. Apart from that there is nothing else. So I guess this is for testing the water on the pH level of the water. So we'll do that as well sometime later. Let's quickly, this is how the filter is. What we'll do is let's add this to our existing filter and see how the TDS is going to change. And if possible, we'll test out the pH level as well. And they have not given any pipe, extra pipe. So I guess we need to check if we have any existing pipe and uh, make use of that so let's see so the first thing to do is uh, we need to uh, remove all the water which is stored inside this filter and then uh, open this up and add this filter so the filter will go on the top after the RO membrane so let's do that Make sure to turn off the switch and uh, the inlet pipe so that the water don't keep coming in and the motor, so the motor should not start. So turn off the switch and also the pipe. So this is the filter. These are the information. I have given let me show what is shown in their website so these are the information mentioned here 
so improve digestion improve skin health detoxification suppress inflama inflammation improve athletic performance neutralize acid in body so sometimes uh, the acidity what you feel may be because of this so these are the other information so up to 10000 liters of alkaline water will is what this will produce this particular filter i have paid around 550 on amazon in flipkart it is available for 493 but the delivery time would be a little longer so that's the reason bought from amazon so you need to open this and add a valve on both sides so something something like this you need to add and put it over here so on both sides they don't provide this out of the box maybe you need to have a spare or buy a new one and both sides you need to add and the pipe goes inside this so yeah let's open the filter and uh, do the next thing of adding this one If you want, you can service the whole uh, filter itself. But for now, I'll be just adding this additional filter in the final stages. In the final stage, that is after the RO membrane, I'll just add this um, filter, alkaline filter. So you just need to open the glass screws. So once you open. You should be able to lift and uh, take out the covering. So you should be able to take out this covering after removing the screw. So let's keep it aside. So if you see, there is the RO membrane. Uh, there is the carbon filter. There is the UV filter. There is a sediment filter on the back. So every filter does a job. So for now, what we'll have to do is the flow is from, as you can see. You can see in the, the filter itself how the water flow will be. So the flow of water is from here to here. So this, so this is where, so this is where we need to, you know, disconnect this one and uh, connect our al alkaline filter. The alkaline filter will go somewhere here, maybe, or you can add it somewhere here as you like. So this should be connected here. You see, you can see the flow over here. So once this is connected it has to be connected here as the flow is this side this should this would be the inlet and this would be the outlet so the connection from here should come inside this and this one should go back to the uv filter so as i had already connected one control valve so i'll just connect another one over here so two are connected this is how the water is flowing from left to right and the water is going uh, to the UV filter. So we'll have to connect this in between that. You see it is written as the flow is like this. So this would be the inlet, this would be the outlet. So this outlet will go inlet of this one and the outlet from this one will go back to the UV. So let's do that quickly and I'll place it somewhere here. So I'll not go to remove this one. I'll just add an additional uh, zip ties and uh, connect this one. So let's quickly do that. So you need to have some additional uh, pipes like this. So we'll just make small pieces of this and um, use it for connecting the filter. So I've connected the pipe. If you don't know how to remove this, you just need to press this one and uh, then you can remove the pipe. So this is kind of a lock. So you'll have to press hard until you feel it's completely, you know, gone. Uh, until you feel that it has completely gone down and it's locked. So yeah. So if you see here the outlet from this RO membrane is 
connected to the inlet of uh, the alkaline filter and the outlet is connected back to the previous one which was earlier connected to this RO membrane. So that's a simple connection. I'll just add this, add this zip ties and uh, see if it's all working. So I've added the zip ties as well. Now what we can do is let's close this and test this out and see if everything is working fine and if the TDS has improved. So yeah, let's quickly test that. Let me put back everything and uh, let's quickly test that. So let's see how it will perform. I've turned on. So let's wait for some time so the water gets filled in this little tank. And then let's test this thing out. Let's test the TDS. And if possible, we'll test this pH level as well using this. So let's do an immediate test. It's not filled yet. Uh, there's a first round of filling on the tank. We'll have to discard the 20 liters, initial 20 liters after adding the filter as per the instruction. So let's quickly test the TDS with this water itself and see what is the change we'll see in the reading. Earlier it was somewhere around 11 ppm. Let's see what is uh, what is the value now. So let me fill the water. So I have filled the water. I'll turn it on. The value is zero. I'll dip it. So and let me press the hold button. So if you see it has drastically improved now, it's 68, so the water is remineralized as well as uh, water is turning out to be alkaline, the pH level is coming closer to 9. So let's quickly test pH level using their drops, the pH scale drops what they have given, let's see what is the value it shows. Let me discard some water from this. So this is a drop which they have given. Let me open this. So they say if the color is red, the pH is 3. And if the color turns out to be purple, then it will be cl somewhere close to 9 pH level. So let me add this drop. Just add one drop maybe. So with, the, with just one, one drop you can see the color is coming closer to 8, 9. So maybe if you want, so it's becoming darker as well, so you can see the difference, so it is turning out to be alkaline water as well with uh, this pH scale drop test. So I'll just try with the tap water and see what is the color it is going to turn out to be. So this is the tap water, I hope I don't have to prove that. So tap water you can see it's coming out somewhat yellowish and the water is acidic. And also let me show the earlier, uh, the previous uh, water which was stored inside this. I'll just take out the water from the fridge and show you what was the uh, pH level of that water. So let's check the pH level of the water. Uh, with before adding this filter this is the water which I took it took out from the fridge let's see what is the pH level this turns out to be so we were actually drinking uh, you know some more acidic water so now we have as we have added this uh, alkaline filter the water has turned down to be the pH level has drastically improved add this you can see the color is coming out to be purple so it has drastically improved the water quality and also it also remineralized uh, the water with all calcium magnesium what is required in water so yeah that's about it guys hope you hope you all like the video if you like the video please do the like button subscribe comment let's catch again next video until then see you bye